So Amanda is in the field looking for that horseshoe. She has no idea where he actually threw it. She got a pole with a big gigantic magnet on it. Closest thing she can come to a uh, metal detector. It doesn't help that we haven't mowed the fields in weeks so we could kill the uh, weeds. But uh, yeah, here she is. She's a smarty pie. It's not that we have to find it because we got to put it back on them. It's just full of nails. It's very dangerous if the horse steps on it later. So, sort of got to find it. I wonder how much a metal detector costs to rent for a day. All right, let me explain the challenge of why it is being quite so difficult for me to find the shoe. First of all, these fields are huge. Secondly, because we've been wanting to spray for weeds and get the weeds out, we had to let the grass grow extra long. So we're talking like, like here's my magnet. Like you can't see the top of that. Like this is deep. This is some deep grass. And so I'm having to just like rub the magnet through the grass and hoping I can find the stupid shoe. Oh my gosh. We finally found a farrier to come and do Owen's shoe. So he should be here any minute and we will get that taken care of, which will be nice because that'll get me actually back on a real schedule instead of the craziness. I feel like I can't ever get on a real schedule. Oh, life. Life, why you gotta be so crazy? I guess that's what makes it an adventure, huh? Oh, and he's in the shade. Oh, and he's in the shade. Here are a couple of ponies in the shade. What you guys doing? The monkeys. The monkeys. Chilling. Chilling in the shade. Hey, Gray. Hey, Toes. Hey, babies. You guys are adorable. I love you. You guys have fun in your shady tree. Bye. Come on, dog. Let's go. Andre, come on. Let's go to the barn, dude. Such a goober. You know who's cute? This guy. Hello, so hi. I'm really sweet. You're so sweet, sweet. Oh, look at that nose. Look at that nose. <laughs> oh, got it. I got it. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> I believe someone is happy to be back out again. He's had to be in for two days with this shoe. And he took off running. He said, oh boy. Playtime. How excited are you about that tree? Do you still excited? So big. We're gonna go run some errands. Only got $20 in my pocket. We need more than that. We have to buy groceries. We better get some more cash and then we can run our errands. Just a minute. I don't know why you guys don't wanna just stay out and play. We just wanna come inside, you goobers. Go play! Go eat some hay or grass or whatever that stuff is. It's grass. I'm just stupid. I'm dying my hair these colors <laughs> really soon. I'm gonna have a sunset hair. Apparently it's Friday. I have thought all day. <laughs> I have thought all day that it's Thursday and now I'm freaking out. Tomorrow's Saturday, guys. Tomorrow is Saturday. Matthew, the watermelon had puppies. Puppies? There's little puppies. There's the mommy and then there's the puppies. Okay. No, these are watermelon babies. Puppies are dogs. These are watermelon. They're like puppies. They're like the baby watermelon. What's a baby watermelon called? Baby watermelon. What do you guys think? Is it a puppy or is it a baby? Here we see the wild Matthew. <laughs> Rubbing on a box of raisins. I was gonna do a documentary joke, but maybe this is some sort of mating man? I don't know. Did you, did you just break them? Maybe. Oh no. He, no, he didn't. We didn't do that. We're not in the public. You know, Gala. Matthew really likes cereal. I do like cereal. It's full of wheat. Take that, paleo people. What? We use almond milk. You know what's really fun? The way the cereal looks when you run by it really quickly. Look at this guy. Doesn't that look fun? Do you feel dizzy? Cause I do. And I'm just running in a straight line. Oh, he left. 
We need some wipity wipes. <laughs> it's like a spell never happened. Whippity wipes? Wipity wipe. Whippity wipe. Wipe like a towel. Dry like a whatever the heck that means. You won't let me do anything fun. Nope. I'm the worst husband ever. What is that? crazy just happened. I just went to go bring all the horses in and when I went over to the boys field I could hear the coyotes and they were like super close and so I had a light and I just started like bringing the boys in and they were all kind of sweaty like they'd been running around and um, I shone my light out on the field like behind them and there was a bunch of coyotes out there and their eyes were and it, like their eyes were all reflecting stuff and I started like yelling at them and like rah, 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 just making noise hoping they'd run away and they just like kind of looked at me it's kind of terrifying I don't think they were actually like chasing the horses or anything I just think the horses were kind of upset by them but anyway yeah that was pretty scary so I like called Matthew and I was like can you drive down and pick me up I don't want to be here by myself <laughs> I don't know if coyotes would actually mess with me or not but Andre says I'll get those coyotes for you mom I'll get them I'll get them I'll get those coyotes, Mom. I'm a good dog. Dude, are you gonna help? No, you just get eaten. You'd be one bite. So I don't think we've really ever talked about this before, but um, I kind of had a really strange childhood. Not really strange, but like kind of unusual, I guess is the right word. Um, so basically, with my parents' work, um, I grew up all over the world. So like I was born in Hong Kong, and we lived in Seoul, South Korea. We lived in the Netherlands. We lived in England. All of that. I didn't actually move to the States until I was like 19 years old. But anyway, so like, I feel like there's a huge part of me that is like travel, like not being in one place for too long and that kind of thing. Like, I, it's technically like the, the term is third culture kid. And um, yeah, so I feel like travel is a big, huge part of like my heart. And so anyway, Matthew and I've talked for a long time about that we really want to do some traveling. And so we've been looking at these Kentucky tours which I think a lot of YouTubers do these, and so that's kind of where we found them and we were looking at them. So we're talking about doing this one at Easter. So we found one uh, that goes to Amsterdam in Easter. You fly into London, go from London to Amsterdam, spend four days there or three nights there, and then back to London. So we've been thinking about doing that, uh, but going a few days earlier, uh, for some friends in London and then maybe staying a few days after in London or even uh, Holland uh, to go with some places she grew up in Holland. Yeah, because one of the kind of weird things about it is that like Matthew's never seen some of these places where I grew up and I think it'd be a neat opportunity for us to go and him to kind of see some of these like places where I lived and, and for me. Seen anywhere you've grown up. No, not at all. It's it's kind of weird because I've been to Bo like he Matthew's from Boston originally, and and we've gone to New Jersey where he has family and that kind of thing. And uh, but we've never gone any of the places where I grew up. And so I think it'd be a neat opportunity for us to hit two places that I grew up in. And it'd be a chance for me to kind of go home, not like heart home, but like physical home. So yeah, I think it's kind of a ways to go all the way to Europe and only spend four nights. Yeah, that wasn't enough. So we're kind of thinking maybe we'll go to England a little bit early and like I have a friend in Brighton that we might go see and then in London for a few days and then we'll go to the Netherlands and maybe either we'll go home and uh, like go back to London and then go home straight from there or we'll stay in Holland for a few days and uh, yeah, so that's kind of what we're thinking about. So we'll see if it actually all works out. You know, you gotta like, we've gotta figure out the logistics of somebody to watch the farm and like all the money and all that kind of thing. But fingers crossed, cause it would be really lovely to get to do that. Cause I haven't left the States since I've been here. So I've been here for about seven years now and I haven't left at all. And I'd really like to get back overseas. Oh, and he's a good sport. He's a good one. He's a good egg, I think I'll keep him. <laughs> 